Hey you all, this is Brian and you're watching the Motherland Channel. In this video, we'll dive into our Best Places to Find Prepper and Survival Gear series. Today, we're chatting about a fan favorite, Harbor Freight. Now, when we talk about Harbor Freight, we're entering some interesting territory. It's kind of a love-hate relationship for many. They're known for their super budget-friendly tools, which is a blessing and sometimes a bit of a curse. On top of that, they've got this array of items that you might not stumble upon just anywhere. I mean, they've got some quirky finds. Over time, I've snagged quite a few goodies from their shelves. That said, there are a couple of things I reckon you should be aware of before splashing too much cash over there. So, here's the game plan for this video. I'm gonna walk you through some of the top-notch prepper and survival gear that Harbor Freight's got on their shelves. Plus, I'll let you in on how I personally feel about shopping there, and the little voice in my head that chirps up every time I'm considering grabbing something off their shelves. Disclaimer. Hang on a sec, before we dive into my recommendations, I've got a quick side note. While I'm genuinely a fan of a lot of what Harbor Freight offers, there are a couple of items I'd advise giving a wide berth. Numero uno on that list, their survival knife. Picture this, it's one of those hollow-handled Rambo-esque pieces. You know, the kind that's been floating around for ages. Now, it's not just a Harbor Freight issue. Most knives of this style have this Achilles heel, that little riveter screw that attaches the blade to the handle? Yeah, that has a bad habit of loosening up way too quickly. All right, moving on to the next buyer beware item, those budget tape measures from Harbor Freight. Now, it's not so much that they're off with the measurements, that ain't the issue. The real problem is they've got this ultra thin metal tape that's quite frankly a menace. It's all fun and games until you're bleeding from a quick pull or retraction. Trust me, been there, done that. It's collecting dust somewhere in my garage now. And while we're on the topic, let's talk about their bench vices. Just between us, the reviews ain't stellar. From videos to articles, I've come across a good number of unhappy customers sharing their vice woes. A few more nugget. Now, before you start thinking I'm just throwing shade at Harbor Freight, I've got a few golden nuggets of advice for all the preppers out there, Harbor Freight tools. They're pretty decent as starter kits or backup tools. Especially if you're a newbie to the prepper world or are on a tighter budget, you're gonna get some solid value for your money. Man, if I could time travel back to my younger days, I would have been all over their deals and saved myself a pretty penny. So here's another gem about Harbor Freight tools. They're kinda perfect as backup tools. Think about it. Toss one in your car kit or maybe stash a set at the office. They're ideal for those just-in-case moments. And the best part, you don't have to stress about losing them like you would with your prized tools. Say you've got this sweet ratchet that used to belong to your granddad, you'd be gutted if someone just up and took it, right? But one from Harbor Freight? Nah, it wouldn't sting as much. Plus, another smart move for preppers is to stock up on these tools for potential bartering. In a pinch, you'll have something valuable to trade. Now, let's talk quality. It's no secret that Harbor Freight's range spans from, wow, that's amazing, to man, why did I even buy this? That's why before I part with my cash, I hit up their website to scout out the reviews. Those reviews? Gold mines, I tell ya. They give you a pretty good idea of what you're diving into. Now, here's my personal hack. I keep an eye out for two things, the star rating and the number of folks who've weighed in. For me, the sweet spot's around four and a half stars, and I like seeing an item that's gotten the thumbs up or down from say 300 to 500 folks. If you've got an item rocking a four and a half star average and it's been reviewed 500 times, chances are it's a solid buy. All right, here's another nugget from my Harbor Freight playbook. Never step foot in there without coupons. Seriously, it's a game changer. Though to be honest, snagging these coupons isn't as straightforward as it once was. Remember the days when you could roll in clutching that 20% off coupon in one hand and a voucher for a freebie? like? Say, a flashlight in the other? Ah, good times. Nowadays, with all the digital shift, scoring that 20% off and the free stuff takes a bit more luck since they pop up at select times. But a little pro tip? Before you head out, do a quick online search. Just type in current harbor freight coupons. You'll likely find some sweet deals that way. Now let's talk shop on warranties. If you're buying from harbor freight, you gotta get the lowdown on this. Their hand tools, think hammers, wrenches, and those trusty screwdrivers, they come with a lifetime warranty. Sweet deal, right? But here's the kicker. 
Other stuff, like power tools and compressors, they only offer a 90-day limited warranty on them. You can extend that warranty up to one or two years, but you've got to dig a little deeper into your pocket for that. And don't forget, you've got a 30-day window from your purchase date to grab that extended service protection in-store. Tools Harbor Freight? Yeah, they're big on tools. Their hand stuff, like pliers and hammers, ain't too shabby. Especially the top-notch brands like Doyle and Bremen. Need bolt cutters for your car or bug out bag? They got them in all sizes. If you're into camping or chopping wood, they've got axes, hatchets, and mauls. Plus, they've got your garden tools covered, from shovels and rakes to shears and saws. Need wheels for your cart or dolly? They have those too, and stuff like moving blankets. Their tool chests? Solid, super sturdy, with cool features like ball bearing slides and latches. Oh, and they've got those little hardware boxes with screws, wall anchors, and kits with things like O-rings and springs. Thinking about grabbing power tools from Harbor Freight? Here's the thing, the warranty on most is just 90 days. Yeah, you can extend it, but it'll cost you. Compare that to other brands offering two to five years on their top tier tools. And who knows how long Harbor Freight's gonna stick with certain battery lines? Nothing's more annoying than buying cordless tools and then not finding a battery replacement down the road. Honestly, I dodge their cheap power tools, especially if the reviews aren't great. But if you're looking to kit out your car or tackle emergencies, they've got your back. Need to pump up a tire or figure out that pesky check engine light? They've got everything from inflators to code readers. Plus, they stock some solid brand name oils and lubes. And their mechanics tools? The Pittsburgh Pro ones, in particular, are legit. Perfect for a prepper's car kit or stashing in the office for emergencies. You know, Harbor Freight's got this new icon line that's supposed to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with big shots like Snap-on. Haven't snagged any myself, since they're pricier than their usual stuff. Even though some pros might turn their nose up at them, I've seen a bunch of mechanics rockin' Harbor Freight jacks. Fun fact, their jacks looked so much like Snap-ons that Snap-on tried to sue them for copyright stuff, but didn't win. Beyond the usual, they're also the spot to grab those quirky or massive tools. Lighting Solutions. Harbor Freight's got you. From flashlights to headlamps, they're clutch for blackouts. Whatever lighting vibe you're after, they've probably got it. Setting up a home workshop or a construction site? They've got lights for those too. They even roll out with outdoor vibes like string lights and those solar path ones. Handy for marking your yard. And bonus, you can haul them inside during power outages. Generators. Harbor Freight Generators? Not a bad pick for preppers. While I'm usually iffy about getting stuff with moving parts from there, I've heard good things about their Predator Generator lineup. Check out their site or YouTube for some solid reviews. They're also in the solar game with panels, regulators, and full-on kits. My old man's got one of their kits on his travel trailer, and it's been working out. Plus, they've got your typical batteries and rechargeables. And if you're into camping, Harbor Freight's got some goodies. Their tent stakes? Pretty dope. Pull off the plastic bit, and you're left with a hefty nail. They've even got name brand slingshots from Daisy. And yep, they've got your basic camping needs, like magnesium fire starters. Tarps. Harbor Freight's tarp collection is nuts. Sizes from something you'd toss in a bug out bag to ones that'd cover half a basketball court. They've got gloves for days too. The neutral ones are good for cleaning guns or everyday cleaning. Just don't use them with acetone. For tougher jobs, like cars, building, or gardening, They've got work gloves, plus they're stocked on protective gear, goggles, ear protection, masks, and knee pads. Need ropes? From setting up shelters to tying stuff down, they've got lengths and sizes. And their bungee and ratchet straps? Pretty solid selection. Glue and tapes. Harbor Freight is pretty stacked when it comes to adhesives. They've even got the big names like Gorilla Glue. As for tapes, they've got a bunch Think electrical, masking, plumbing, and the almighty duct tape. I tend to grab my zip ties from them too. They come in a range of sizes and colors. Oh, and their clear poly sheeting, super handy for emergencies. Think window covers or rainwater collection. Ladders and tools. If you need ladders, give Harbor Freight a look. I've heard good stuff about their six foot step ladder and the 17 foot multitask one. Now, when we talk power tools, it's a bit of a mixed bag for me. Their newer Bauer and Hercules lines look promising, and the reviews seem positive. Guns and ammo storage. 
Okay, while they don't deal in actual firearms or ammo, gun peeps can find some useful storage there. They've got metal and plastic ammo cans, gun cases, and even safes. Some of their cases are kinda like the ones Pelican makes, fitting both rifles and handguns. And if you're into reloading, they've got tumblers and spare parts, like belts, ready to go. Trash bags and bug zappers. So, Harbor Freight's also got trash bags, handy for all sorts of stuff like managing waste, collecting water, or even rocking one as a makeshift poncho. Oh, and they've got these electric bug zappers. I can't help but get a kick out of the satisfying pop and mini fireworks show when a pesky fly meets its zappy end. Yeah, maybe I'm a bit weird. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. If you made it this far, hopefully you enjoyed the vid. Do me a solid and hit that like, subscribe, and notify bell if you haven't yet. Really helps me out. Hope to catch you next time. Thanks and God bless. Thanks and God bless.